What's up, Lola? Bailey! Hey, Bailey! What's up, Lola? What's up, Lola? Bailey! Bailey! Look at this. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. Man, I'm having chest cramps right now. And it's something I've never experienced before. And for those of you who are wondering what kind of training split am I doing right now? <laughs> I can tell you that I'm doing a bro split. So training a body part once a week. But here's the catch. Every time that I train, it's maximum intensity. So, you know, like I'm used to training every single day. Um, training a body part every single day but it's not a all-out effort every single day you know like I bench pressed every single day but it's all like sub maximal work like 50% 60% 70% you know and I mainly trained well my mindset at the time was to get better at the movement to be more efficient to practice my form and technique so there was not really this emphasis on overloading or stimulating my muscles to grow but nowadays after um, hanging out with Luke and talking to other people on the internet and talking to other people at the gym I realized that I was training like a bitch so I upped my intensity but now I'm thinking about it maybe hey maybe that's not the best way to do it maybe Sure, I could learn a thing or two from other people and maybe I can make my training more effective per se but that wouldn't be my program, you know? That would be someone else's idea and that's, that's all fine and well if, say, I hired them to be my coach and stuff like that but even a coach they don't even know you as well as you know yourself and I know that for me going in once a week to do a movement and then leaving the gym feeling sore for the next two to three days that's not my way of training I don't want to do this you know because I got other things in life that I want to do I don't want to be thinking about how sore my muscles are and, um, yeah, my chest cramp is... I mean, it feels good at the time that I was doing it, but now, like, when I'm driving, sometimes, when I accidentally cross my arm like that, that would trigger my muscles to go into spasm, and I don't know, it's, it's a horrible feeling for me. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like the pump. I don't like the pump. As weird as that might sound, you know, like, in the bodybuilding world, everybody raves on about Oh, it's the pump, man. It's got to catch a quick pump at the gym. You know, like they... Yeah, it's all about the pump. Um, but yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Am I the only one who doesn't like to train his arms? It's, it's, this is something about my muscles being engorged with blood that just makes me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know man, it's, it's just me. Um, I like to go into the gym and train the movements. Whatever that might be, and, and I don't want to feel so. I want to feel like I've worked hard for it and... Yeah. I don't know. But ever since I started training this way, every time after a gym session I had to take a day or two off the gym. Uh, maybe that's the way that you should train. Maybe that's the conventional way um, of training. But or maybe I'm I'm just doing this wrong. Maybe I'm just being stupid about it. Uh, but essentially, what I do every single time that I step in the gym, I just focus on one muscle group. And today it was the bench press, but some other days it would be the legs or the deadlifts. And same thing. Every single time I go in, I have this mentality of I have to beat my last session. And so that means 
I have to lift heavier. There, there's no other way around it. When, when I have this mentality, I always revert to lifting heavier as opposed to as opposed to what I probably should have done is to improve my form some way, increase time under tension, um, having a longer pause or having better technique. But when, when I go in with the mindset of I have to beat my last session, it always comes down to have you lifted more weight than last time. And I don't know, man, for me, I feel like it's just unrealistic to have this mentality of wanting to beat my previous session which by the way was a week ago it, it has been a week since I last bench pressed and I don't I feel like I'm not gonna cope with this you know I, I want to bench press more often if that's something I want to improve on you know I, I did give it a good go though. I like I, I gave it I would say three weeks already Maybe I'll give it another week and see how I go. Have I improved at all? <sighs> to be honest, I'll, t I'll tell you guys this. I have not improved in my secondary movements, the dumbbell presses. I feel like every single week I lose a rep. And it's not because I am pausing it for longer. I'm putting more tension on muscle. I feel, I feel my muscles being worked more, yes, but I'm losing strength overall. So, I don't know, man. Um, my biggest indication for progress is how much more weight I can lift every single session or how many more reps I can lift. And for the past three weeks or so, ever since I started training this way, I've lost strength. That's right, I've lost strength on all um, compound, I guess, secondary movements. So not, not the primary movement, but the secondary movements. Um, I did get a personal record, though, on the deadlifts. Um, but I feel like it's more to do with being a novel stimulus. So I, I, as you know, I normally sumo deadlifts. But I thought to myself, maybe I should try conventional because it's been a while and I, I got a personal record. So I do think that I've made some progress on the deadlifts. But the most important movement to me, the bench press, I feel like I, I'm, not, I'm going nowhere. Perhaps I just need to be more patient with myself. Give it a bit more time. Maybe rather than trying to lift as heavy as possible I should implement some uh, lifting principles that I learned from the guys at gym and Luke maybe I need to lift a bit heavier but not like this you know maybe I could incorporate a top set uh, maybe I need to take more rest in between my bench session maybe or perhaps this way of training is just not for me and I would much prefer bench pressing every single day and deadlifting or squatting every other day. You know, my old program. Anyways, um, I'm just heading home now. Uh, I spent some time with my old bandmates. Went to the beach, as you can probably see. Uh, yeah, we caught up. We talked about our plans for the future plans in terms of music where we are going with our music career you know like I it's hard we um, the band broke up because the members couldn't get along and I've noticed this thing about me how come everybody talks shit about each other's behind their back to me how come I am the person they go to when they want to gossip you know, like if some band member has an issue with each other, they don't tell each other the, um, <laughs> the intended party, but rather they go to a third party, i.e. me, to tell me about their problems, you know? Why don't you just talk to the person directly? And I, I'm starting to think that I am the problem. 
I am the problem because I am the common denomination in all of these um, conversations, you know, like I should have said something about them gossiping. I should have said, hey, maybe I don't give a shit. Just tell the guy you have a problem with. Why are you going to me? Um, yeah, and I, I've noticed this as well. When I make friends, it's very hard to bring that friend to my current friend group. If you know what I mean. Like, it's hard for me to bring a friend that I made from this and um, trying to get them to hang out with another friend that I made from a different social setting. Like, it's hard for me to... <laughs> I don't know. Is this normal? Is it normal to have friend group A and friend group B and you have to pretend to be a certain way around this friend group and be a completely different person in another friend group and is it normal for different friend groups to not get along? I don't know man. What do you think? Anyways, uh, I better stop talking and focus on driving. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay strong. God bless and I'll speak to you soon.